Our Father in heaven, I thank you for a new day. I come before you today to ask you for guidance and protection as we go through this Holy Spirit week. Please be with every presenter and help us to get closer to you. I ask in Jesus' name, amen. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. I have good plans for you. I don't plan to hurt you. I plan to give you hope and a good future. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Isn't it a blessing that the Lord has granted us life so that we can be here to worship? Well, the privilege was given to me to welcome each and everyone here to the Kids Spiritual Week program. Thank you for being here. Do enjoy the program. Welcome one, welcome all. We've heard that there is no way through. We've heard the time of magic. They haven't seen what you can do. There is power in your name. So much power in your name. Why won't you talk to me anymore? Gavin texted Holly in all caps. He had been trying to get her attention for about a week now, but she kept leaving him on bed. It was weird not having her to talk to or hang out with anymore. Holly had been a good friend to Gavin. She was kind and would always tell him the truth. When things got tough, like when Gavin would get grounded for bad behavior, Holly would stick by him, but now she wouldn't even respond to his messages. Gavin tried to figure out what the problem could be. He thought back to the last time he thought they had had a good time together. They had gone to the mall to buy Mother's Day gifts for their moms, and Gavin saw a watch his mom could use while exercising, but it cost more than the money he had on his debit card. So. Holly suggested maybe they should look at something a little cheaper, like purses. That's such a boring gift. My mom deserves better than that, he said. Well, she doesn't deserve to see you go to jail for shoplifting either, Holly responded with a bad gut feeling. Turns out, her intuition was right. Gavin walked right out of the store with the watch hidden in his pocket. Holly was tired of that sick feeling she'd get in her stomach right before Gavin made a bad decision. She was tired of worrying that his bad decisions would eventually catch up with him. She was tired of worrying about the consequences more than he did. So that was the last thing that Gavin heard from Holly. That wasn't the first time Holly had tried to get Gavin to do the right thing. You see, they had known each other for five years. Gavin was eight when he was baptized, 
and as he stepped out of the seawater, there was Holly standing on the beach. She was one of the first kids to shake his hand and congratulate him. Since then, the two had been inseparable. But Gavin didn't always make it easy. It seemed like he had a problem choosing between right and wrong. One time, he and Holly were playing at recess and saw some kids teasing another student. Holly saw a smile creep over Gavin's face and quickly whispered, That's not nice. But he looked her in the face and burst out laughing anyway. When Gavin was 10, they were sitting in Sabbath school class and the teacher had lots of hands-on activities um, that they could do while they learned about the Bible. But Gavin was in a bad mood and didn't want to participate. Holly tried to cheer him up and persuade him to play one of the Bible games, but he just sat there and pouted. When Sabbath school was over, Gavin told Holly to just leave him alone and stop thinking she was better than him. But then he turned around and texted her later that night to ask her if she wanted to hang out at the mall. Holly waited for an apology for how he had spoken to her earlier, but she never got one. They would go through this cycle over and over and over again in their friendship. Gavin would make a bad decision. Holly would try to encourage him to make a good one. Gavin would lash out at Holly, only to come back looking for her company later. Holly endured because Gavin could be really fun and charming when he wanted to be. And she saw so many good things in him despite his shortcomings. But Holly could only endure so much. Watching Gavin steal the watch with no remorse was the last straw. Gavin and Holly's friendship didn't end the first time or the second or the third time he did something wrong. But every time she watched him take a wrong turn without feeling sorry, and every time he lashed out at her, he pushed her farther and farther away. We all have a friend called the Holy Spirit. We can't see him, but we can feel him. He tells us what is right through something we call a conscience. When we need to make a decision between right and wrong, it's the Holy Spirit that tries to get us to make the right choice. Every time you or I choose to ignore this friend and we do wrong, it gets easier to ignore him the next time. That's called grieving the Holy Spirit. If any of us push him away too many times, eventually we just won't be able to hear his voice anymore. But I have good news for you. You don't have to let things get so far. The Bible says, if you don't hide your bad habits, but you tell God that you want to change, he will forgive you and help you to do the right thing. You don't have to give in to the wrong choices like Gavin did. When you find it hard to do right, quickly talk to God. Ask for his help because he will help you. He wants to help you. He wants you to be happy. In Jeremiah 29, 11, he says, I have good plans for you. I don't plan to hurt you. I plan to give you hope and a good future. How many of you would like to have a good future? If you'd like to have a good future, Future, I invite you to try to give the Holy Spirit a chance. Don't push him away. Hello, boys and girls. It's Auntie Linda here, and today we're going to find some symbols. Symbols for the Holy Spirit. We have five of them. You're going to use the International Children's Bible to find your answers. So let's start with number one. Now we're looking for symbols of the Holy Spirit. Symbols are like emojis for the Holy Spirit. Number one, I am a type of bird. I am a type of bird. And you can find the answer in Mark chapter 1 verse 10. Remember, we're using the ICB Bible, International Children's Bible. Mark chapter 1 verse 10. There are four letters. Okay, number two. I am hot. 
Matthew chapter 3 verse 11. There are four letters for this one. I am hot. Number three, Jacob poured olive blank on the stone he slept on. There are three letters and you can find this in Genesis 28 verse 18. Number four, it blows but you don't know where it comes from. It blows but you don't know where it comes from. John chapter 3 verse 8 and there are four letters. And finally number five, God's blessing will be like a stream of blank and there are four Five letters in this one Isaiah chapter 44 verse 3 now we're gonna look at the answers I'm gonna play some music while you see if you found the correct emojis or symbols for the Holy Spirit Great job. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for these beautiful children. We thank you for the love that they have for you. We thank you for what they have learned today. And we pray that they will remember that the Holy Spirit is their friend. Oh, Heavenly Father, help none of us to ever push the Holy Spirit away. Help us not to grieve him but let him be the one that continues to speak to us and show us right from wrong. We thank you for hearing our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen.